this popular influencer has been allegedly charged with breaking the internet after recent eye-popping content that was released directly on their social media platforms. More on this later. County. With the help of the FBI and the DEA, we did just that. We also had the help of our partnering agencies to help us in this effort. On yesterday, with the help of our federal partners, state partners, and county partners, we arrested a total of 31 individuals, members of the Zohanan gang, and member of the Crips. 19 of those individuals um, were um, arrested on the federal level. Thomas Hobbs once said, the law is not to frighten the good, but to keep the bad in awe. Today, the bad guys who have the emboldened audacity to try to take over uh, Muskogee County thought that... It's just into our newsroom tonight. 31 people are now behind bars in Operation Sweet Silence by the Muskogee County Sheriff's Office, FBI, and the DEA. And nearly 20 of those arrested are facing federal charges. According to Sheriff Greg Countryman, his office has been investigating gangs and criminal gang enterprises in the Fountain City. Of those arrested, 19 are validated gang members and face drug trafficking charges. That's according to the sheriff. The other individuals were arrested on state charges as part of the ongoing investigation. Additional charges are pending, we're told. The arrests are part of the heavy police presence seen across the Fountain City today. A full list of those arrested and their charges will be posted on our website. Enforcement partners held a news conference regarding a large seizure of drugs, money, and guns made Thursday morning. WRBL's Michelle Jennings attended the news conference. She joins us now with more details. Michelle. Teresa, the seizure made on Thursday was part of a two-year-long operation called Sweet Silence. This was an investigation into alleged illegal activities of the Zohanan and Crips criminal street gang involving drug trafficking. Muskogee County sheriffs say 126 search warrants were issued. Law enforcement successfully seized nearly $280 million of drugs, including heroin, cocaine, meth, and fentanyl. Guns and cash were also seized, as well as nearly $280,000 of U.S. currency. Operation Sweet Silence made a total of 101 arrests, 31 of those being in Columbus. I'll stand here today knowing Columbus and the surrounding areas are much safer than they were prior to yesterday's operation. Operation Sweet Silence was a joint effort by the FBI's Southwestern Georgia Gang Task Force to stop the wave of violent crime, including homicides, shootings, and other crimes that have swept across our community because of Zohanan and other neighborhood-based gangs that are operating in the Columbus area. Many Growing up in that type of environment, uh, a lot of people start to hustle early. Like, how old were you when you first started hustling? I wasn't hustling, man. I was, I, I was a school guy, man. Going to school, handling my business, man, you know? <laughs> you 100% legal? You were good? Yeah, yeah. Doing everything by the book? Doing it by the book, man. Make sure it happened. Okay. You know? And, and that's the way to answer those types of questions. Um, when, I, when I look at your music, when I listen to your music, and I look at your album covers and stuff like that, I'm seeing a lot of blue. The color blue seems to be very it's prominent. A, it's a, it's, it's, it's a nice color, my boy. <laughs> it's a nice color. It ain't nothing like that. Now, now, I assume there's a crip thing going on? No, nah, just a nice night color. Just a nice color? Yeah. No, no cripping going no, on? No, no, no nothing. Just no a nice nothing. color, just the scene. Things okay. in the scene, man. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, you know, growing up in that type of environment, uh, a lot of people start to hustle early. Like, how old were you when you first started hustling? I wasn't hustling, man. I was, I, I was a school guy, man. Going to school, handling my business, man, you know? <laughs> you 100% legal? You were good? Yeah, yeah. Doing everything by the book? Doing it by the book, man. Make sure it happened. Okay. You know? And that's the way to answer those types of questions. People get mad at me for asking, but then people answer how they're going to answer. <laughs> you know what I mean? So when I get that type of answer, I respect that type of answer. Right. You know? And for all the future rappers out there, y'all don't have to answer my questions. Y'all can answer it <laughs> like P.D. Right. Longway saying that, you know, I ain't affiliated with none of that shit. I don't do none of that shit. I'm just a rapper. Right. <laughs>
I respect that. That's uh-huh. what's up. Like growing up in Zone Three as a kid. I mean, I want to say like every. I want to. I want to say like every other average man, man. You know what I mean, it, it wasn't always good. It wasn't always bad. We just took it with each other and ran with it. Okay. Um. When I when I look at your music, when I listen to your music, and I look at your album covers and stuff like that, I'm seeing a lot of blue. The color blue seems to be very it's prominent. A, it's a, it's, it's, it's a nice color, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> It's a night color. It ain't nothing like that. Now, now, I assume there's a crip thing going on? Nah, just a night color. Just a nice color? Yeah. No no cripping going no, on? No, no, no nothing. Just no a nice nothing. color, just the scene. Things okay. in the scene, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, growing up in that type of environment, uh, a lot of people start to hustle early. Like, how old were you when you first started hustling? I wasn't hustling, man. I was, I, I was a school guy, man. Going to school, handling my business, man. You know. <laughs> you 100 percent legal. You were good. Yeah, yeah. Doing everything by the book. Okay, so so the MPA name was that around before you started rapping? Yeah, that's how we came in. Okay. Now, are you the founder of MPA? Yes, sir. MPA stands for. What it stand for? <laughs> MPA. I'm going to butt in here because you, you've already addressed this before. <laughs> my, you know, interview stands for money, pounds, and ammunition. Power. Power, or, or man. You gotta have money, power. power and money, power, and ammunition. Yeah, okay. sir. So yeah, what like yeah. They talk about the music thing. I, I, how many people are in MPA? It's a lot of them, man. They more than ten. Can you, can you break them down? It's a lot of them, man. It's a lot, man. I don't, want, I don't want a piece of my. Duke is one of the prominent ones, though. He was. Duke still is yeah. MPA, man. With that being said, man, yeah, it still is a whole lot of MPAs out there. You know what I'm saying? They okay. still my brother, That's man. Right. But we here to talk about it long way. Let's get it. What's the most shit you do that people don't know you do? Like how you say you just start playing the game and shit? I be chewing gum and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta legend Pee Wee Longway to read Uncle Phil's. Right, yes, sir. Go, go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Honest opinion, though. Don't lie. One to ten, though. We don't want, we don't want you to lie. Uh, we ain't doing no cap. Y'all boys die. <laughs> Y'all boys die. Ah, yeah. oh, the long way. Are you hearing it? Yeah, you know what I mean? The beef yeah. is. The, so, yeah. so you said that. So, the beef is number one now. No, no, no. So, the, so, where we at? We're going. Honey, beef, honey, honey, we're gonna call it beef, honey, garlic. Okay. All right, so we're gonna beef, then he said the honey, no, garlic, good. Mm-hmm. So, what you like, the lemon pepper or the honey, garlic better? Lemon pepper, man. Lemon so, pepper. See? Lemon he he pepper. said the heavy okay. garlic, though. But he, look, he got the whole beef by himself, hey, dog. Get my man right here. What you think? What you think? Where we at? He ain't tried the lemon pepper. Honey, garlic? The honey, garlic? I'm stuck right now. Yeah, he's stuck. Yeah. I had never met them, and um, I called Pee Wee Longway one day. And I was like, yo, you know the Migos? He was like, yeah. I was like, man, Coach K been on talking to me about signing them. What you think? And Pee Wee Longway was like, yo, they hard. He was like, you want them? I was like, yeah. He was like, man, I'm going to get them all. I have them over there in 30 minutes. You want me to bring them to the studio? I was like, yeah. And um, I called Coach and I just told him, I was like, Longway about to bring Migos over to the studio. I didn't even know if he wrote his music. I was gonna hit, I really just wanted to help Pee Wee. Mm-hmm. But when I got that, when Pee Wee come to the studio, Pee Wee bring Thug and two other guys. I never, I didn't even know these guys. I didn't even know he was bringing them. And Pee Wee was like, Gucci, listen, they hard. They be, they the one who got me to start rapping. Sign them. And I, and I, I had a bag with some money and I got twenty five thousand out. I gave it to him right there. Signed Thug right there. Never had heard a song <laughs> on him, but just because he told me to sign him. And that's kind of how I am. I feel like, you know, I value Pee Wee's opinion so much. If he say this dude hard, and then from that day on, thug, that same day, thug, then leave the studio. He spent the night there. And then I... Count up. Count up. I... That dog did. Straight up. Straight up. Yeah. Them third rounders. Yeah. Ha. 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 
Pee-wee. Ha! I'm not gonna let it rock.